Hey everyone, welcome to our DC Review, the new playlist that will have all my reviews for every new DC project released under DC Studios. Today I am reviewing the first episode in the Batman spin-off show, The Penguin. So let's get into my thoughts on the episode. We'll start with the visuals. The cinematography quality has continued in this show from The Batman, which is a really vital piece of the visual storytelling. It has to look like it is still in the Batman. Batman universe, and I think it did that. From the beautiful orange sunrise and sunset to the gritty, dark, and rainy nights, everything just looked great, and I always want a show to look really good. There are many shows that maybe have great stories, which is obviously the most important thing to a show, but sometimes the visuals are average or nothing special at all. But with The Penguin, I was in awe of the visuals. For me, when a show takes a lot of time to ensure the show looks beautiful, it may makes me feel more connected to it as it means the creators of it really do care about how their project looks. But also like I said earlier, it feels directly connected to the movie it is following on from. I feel that this is still Gotham from the Batman universe and that's so important. Now let's get on to the most vital thing, the story. And I won't lie to you, I thought it was too slow in some places. The opening scene was incredible and the tension and beauty that scene showed off was superb and I thought the overall development of the story over the whole runtime was really good. However, I can note about two or three instances where for about five to ten minutes, the show kind of dragged on. It just went a little too slow for my liking, but I had the same issue with the Batman, so at least it is consistent. But once I finished the episode, I had less of an issue with the slower moments as I thought this episode was a really satisfying beginning to this story. I'm really intrigued and excited to see where this story goes next, and I love this extra world build into the Batman universe. And I'm kind of rooting for Oz as well, which is really interesting because I don't normally like villains too much, but the show has really made me fascinated by his character. Colin Farrell did an incredible job in this role too. It's seamless from his performance in the Batman, and I'd actually say it's probably better. We're learning more about his relationship with his mother and his upbringing, his motivations behind his actions, him playing both sides, and how it is actually his mother who gave him the motivation to become more ruthless. It's something I didn't actually expect. I thought she would be the softer and kinder person who maybe humanizes Oz more, but she's actually a full-on ruthless woman. She wants him to be in control of the city and doesn't care how he does it. He's currently the underdog, but she persuaded him to take what she thinks should be his, and so he is going to use both crime families against one another to make himself more powerful. And I really want to see what comes of that in the next episode and throughout the whole show. And I'm really looking forward to the next episode. The first one has got me hooked, and by the end of the episode, everything kind of clicked. It took its time establishing and developing the relationship between Oz and Victor, and at the start of that I was thinking it's kind of feeling like a bit of pointless filler of them in the car talking about slushies. But as the episode went on, and the relationship changed and improved, it made a whole load more sense to me. And it just gave me faith that any other bits of slower storytelling probably actually has a purpose. I think I'm just too used to the MCU and Star Wars shows where some scenes or episodes are just pointless filler and actually don't help the story at all. So I naturally had that fear with the show being the same. But the slower scenes were there for a reason and it reassures me that this is a story driven and focused show. That's a really comforting thing to know and I'm really interested in this story. I know Matt Reeves confirmed neither the Batman or Bruce Wayne will appear in the show but I do hope he is at least mentioned. I feel it would be too disconnected from Batman if they don't at least acknowledge him. Also, with the crime going on in the show, I would expect at some point Batman would get involved, otherwise he's doing a pretty bad job as a vigilante. But at the same time, Batman would instantly overshadow the Penguin if he did appear, and would majorly pull focus away from what this show is about, and could feel like a cheap cameo. It's all about how that would be executed and if it benefits the story, and I have faith in the show runners that they will get it right, whether Batman or Bruce Wayne appears or not. Now let me know your thoughts on the first episode of The Penguin. What would you rate it out of 10? I would probably give it an 8 out of 10, so let me know your rating in the comments below. But that is all for today's review, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!